But so guys, the first Tuesday live show of the 2015 Tuesday, January 6th. Um, but you guys know, um, Megadeth ever since did like a new feature, whatever, possibly, um, Glenn Jarvis, X Megadeth from X Megadeth, uh, Thomas Landrow, who left the band this past year, he said, and I quote, I'll bet my money former Nick Nunes ever joined the band. Other ones, William Burgess Oswald, they got a recent cut for an interview with former Megadeth and King Dime guitarist Glenn Drover. He was asked if they ever did many of us, uh, but my day must stay in such a good work of Duffy if you guys want to check out that interview at albarov.net Um, yeah, it's official ACDC is going to perform me at this year's and I think I'm the first one to record this ACDC is going to be performing me the head of this year's Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival is whether or not ACDC is so good to perform at the Sears Quartel Ballet Music Arts Fest because the whole tomorrow and everything else. Also, we have the Jack White and Drake during the Sears Quartel Ballet Music Arts Fest, which will be held on two weekends, April 10th and 12th of this year, April 17th and 19th of this year, in Inno, California. Uh, Dragon and Mob is going to be releasing a brand new album. Just they just came out with their 2013 covers album, Coverta. They're releasing a new album titled Do Departed. So it's going to be on February 9th next month. Uh, Hailstorm from is a hill coming out very organic and unapologetically us. Speaking of the groups, uh, for Fermions, uh, for so part of uh, Fermions, Scott, Scott Leland, is now the new band called All About. They released their first ever album on March 31st, this year, Tell Blaster. See, this produced by Rick Parker, our black brother, Marcel Ford, records from 2013 of Ash Studios in Burbank. And Sandbox and Beach Road Canyon. Rush. Not sure of the future or a new album, whatever. Uh, Rush Strong and Yelper has admitted to our program because he still has me He's a man of mine to my eyes, wherever he's still looking forward to returning to the world with his new king rock band. It's true to me, man. He says, There's no way I have to. People say to me, Are you still excited and all that? Uh, Robert Plant of Let's Up and Fame. It was the new he released his uh, soul album, but he credits Phil Collins for a soul career direction, according to Possible and Robert Plant credits both. Phil Collins for a hipster music solo career plan was Fosman Solars nearly three times the long he was fronting what's up and appearing on Bridgman Sky Arts One Channel, Phil Franklin Bill Process to Grand Solo following John Barnes. Uh Slipknot John explains why you know playing bass and song of five to great terms. Slipknot Tyler Turner confirmed his Tubu Music Radio dot com. Played bass on six, maybe seven tracks, bands, ladies, album, five degree, chapter, all in twenty tens past, and sometimes original bass, Paul Gray. I can't even remember which songs I mean, play song as uh, done with. I guess uh, Rage Against Machine are kind of the dig where our corner of the past radio is a part still super tuned in public. The Keisha Arizona spent his last day on the job, so he's thinking against a school. Just to say, Rage Against Machine is certainly a Mexican American history public against what we're doing. John Hurt's son and those are going to. It's crazy how 
music music headlines today are so uh, uh, Ozzy Osbourne had a Hellgate concert production come to Las Vegas. Ozzy Osbourne's wife, Mad Sharon, is working on a one cost production for her husband to take place in Las Vegas by Halloween 2015. She told the British and the British Sun, working very well on Vegas production for Ozzy. It'll be done at Halloween called Hellgate. Uh, Mike Party, Bang Jr. of the Ryan Riddell of Stream 2 of Ben Sunwell, Johnny Mob, he's launched his first album, Fellow Mob Project, raised on the most brutal drum performance of his career. This, um, the story, um, uh, Bear's question is advice. Uh, according to Barnard, according to CentralMain.com, a man who claimed that that gun was held in his head in a 2011 20, incident somehow involving the band Slayer has been combined to face trial and charge for he has fought 25 year old Leroy Smith III, made to kill 56 year old Leroy Smith Jr. in May 2014. If you guys want to read more of that story, like I said, if your question is advice, why are we talking about this, uh, Slayer, whatever, concert? Uh, Soulfly has entered a studio with producer Matt Hyde's uh, Slayer to and Bo Moss Bacon wins a play because they're recording. It's the 10th album for Elite Spring Reese being nuclear blast entertainment all of us seeing involved in a recent interview with Scarlet Bowman so far me and Max Cavalier said about the following. Uh, Lionel Bad. Um, Lionel Bad found the lawsuit against Live Nation for spinal injuries at the Legion of Sustain Point Twelve live show. This is CBC Radio 2. I'm Farah Singh, your weather specialist. Uh, Kid Rock. According to Bill Spurrier, Kid Rock is being peace for the Guardian, which airs some of the views on public social issues and in fact is going to become a grandfather shortly. The age of 43. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Kid Rock is also releasing a new album this year called First Kiss, and he's also released uh, a video of his new single. Thank you. 